Hello and welcome to the third layers tutorial in the Photoshop beginner tutorial series. Today we're going to be looking at, um, in this third layers tutorial, blending options as well as opacities and fills and we're going to be talking a bit about layer styles as well. So let's get right into the tutorial. You'll notice I have a white background and the first thing I'm going to do is click text and add a new text layer just by clicking anywhere with the text tool selected. And I'm just going to type out some text like this. If you look at the text tutorials, you'll find out um, various various ways of aligning text. But for now, we're just going to keep it simple and just have black text. Now, you'll notice um, when you when you are in the layers panel that you have options of opacity and fill. And it may be quite hard to know what they do if you if you look at them together because well opacity obviously controls how opaque the layer is. So if we put it on zero, the opacity will be on zero. And if we put it on to 100, the opacity will be on 100, it'll be fully visible. However, fill seems to do precisely the same thing. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you a bit about the difference between them. And the best way to do that is through the blending options. The blending options you will be able to see down here, this small function button, FX, and you click on this and you'll have a range of different options. Um, for the purposes of this tutorial, we're just going to go with the drop shadow, which is very simple. And as you can see, that's created a shadow underneath the text. And we're just going to hit OK using the default shadow. So as you can see, there's a shadow underneath the text. And of course, because this is a um, because this is Photoshop and it's being able to live render this shadow underneath, we can change our text to anything we like and the shadow will also change. Now here is where you will see the difference between the two functions. The fill function and the opacity function, so the fill function and the opacity function do different things now and uh, you'll see that through uh, what I'm about to do now. If I turn the opacity down, you'll notice again the layer disappears entirely. Set that back to 100. As you can see that it, that changes the opacity for the entire layer. However, now I'm going to change fill and what you'll notice is as I turn fill down, if I turn it down all the way, the shadow actually remains. So the difference between the opacity and fill is opacity is the master control of the layer. Opacity controls how visible the layer in its entirety is. Fill, however, controls the, the fill of the layer itself, but not any effects put on it, which are controlled independently and can only be accessed altogether through the opacity function. So to, to provide a working example of how I can use this. Uh, I'm going to change the drop shadow just by double clicking on the words drop shadow. I'm going to take it off uh, by clicking on the tick and I'm going to click on stroke. And this will just basically apply a line around the layers. And I'm going to change this to uh, red. And I'm going to change the position to in sorry to inside not center. And basically that will create a line inside the black text of three pixels thick and the color will be red. And then if I change the fill to zero you'll notice that I have just the outline of the text and again because these are live rendered effects and the fill is live rendered I can change the text. So as you can see this is a very useful option on your layers to have the difference between opacity and fill and of course this doesn't just work for text layers it works for uh, all shape layers as well so if you create any shape you can do precisely the same thing so i hope you've enjoyed this tutorial um, this was just a quick one to tell you about the difference between opacity and fill and using the blending options uh, one final thing we're going to run through quickly before the tutorial is over is just a bit about layer styles. Now, layer styles, whilst it would be impossible to provide um, a tutorial on every single layer style in this one video, all you need to know is that they, they actually control how layers interact with one another. So, for example, I have a picture of a zebra here, which I've just pasted in. If I hide this layer, 
and I've clicked this up arrow to just collapse all the functions, all the layers, uh, effects into the layer, but of course they're still around and still visible. And I change this background layer to, for example, uh, a cloud layer, so I'll go filter, render, clouds, and that'll just create black and white patches. By changing this I will show you how they interact, so I click soft light and you can see that the, it sort of blends into the background or I could click overlay and you can see it becomes a much harsher blend and I can duplicate the layer by hitting control or command J to change how these functions work and all of these functions you'll see all of these layer effects produce different uh, different outcomes uh, as I said before it's going to be hard to go through all of them but uh, just note that in subsequent tutorials we, we may be using these effects so um, these, these are what they do and in your own time please do experiment with how they they work. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and in the next tutorials we're going to be branching out of layers and looking into more in-depth things in Photoshop. Thanks very much.